Hey guys, so during my second year at Korea University, I talked to one of my software course professors and I asked him about what can I do to increase my chances of getting an internship slash job after college and even during college and one thing he told me seems like a very important thing to know is most people talk about their career and what they've done on LinkedIn which is a website for like professional you know advancement showing what you've done in college and extracurriculars and whatnot but actually if you're someone who writes programs and code and python and html and css and javascript and whatnot one thing you should know is that if you put your projects on linkedin oftentimes it's not seen by the people who need to see it it's not seen by potential employers in the uh, programming space what you should do is put your code on a website called github now i was very new to github at the time but basically think of it like a linkedin but very very specific to coders so you can oh it's quite sunny someone is using the basketball court i'll just go somewhere else and record this on github you can write code for other people and you can show them the code and say hey i wrote this this might be more efficient than your code and if they like it, they can use your code in their projects and you will get credit for it. But more importantly, employers can look at your code and see the exact contribution you've made. The reason this is important is because in my second year, I would put all my coding projects on LinkedIn thinking, oh, well, employers can see my code there because employers look at LinkedIn. But in reality, the people looking for those who have coding skills actually go to GitHub not LinkedIn. So I feel like this is an important skill. In fact, I remember my prof specifically saying employers often just look at your GitHub and decide if you're a worthy candidate or not for evaluation. GitHub allows employers to see your code, why you wrote your code, and it allows you to explain your thought process behind your code. This basically helps employers know this is why you wrote your code as opposed to simply entering your code into a document and posting it up as a project on LinkedIn. This is the mistake I made before I knew about GitHub. So that's why I thought this video might be useful for you if you're looking at software writing jobs because a lot of the time employers go to GitHub looking for potential candidates. And there's so much more on top of that. There are hackathons and coding competitions you can participate in and potentially show employers that this is my coding skill level. The reason I'm making this video is because I made the mistake of putting all my code projects on LinkedIn, not knowing that GitHub is where the real action happens in terms of coding. Oh, and obviously I'm not an expert at GitHub. So if you know anything about GitHub that you think might be useful to me or the audience, by all means mention that down below in the comments section. So yeah, if you're taking anything away from this video, let it be that if you're looking at software jobs, then having a GitHub profile is better than not having one. And that's just my professor's advice. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.